here with Dad's Tip of the Week. Uh, this week we're talking about when you should use extra magic hours. Extra magic hours are just cool. Whoa. <laughs> oh, crush it. Just say, dude, it's so cool. Uh, you get to get in the parks when nobody else is around. No lines. No, I mean, it's just great. Um, so when should you use extra magic hours? Number one, you have to be a Disney hotel guest. Um, it's the extra magic hours are a perk for Disney hotel guests. Number two, you should do it when you've got park hoppers. If you go to you go to extra magic hours, the park fills up. You want to jump to another park? That's a good thing. Three, if you don't have park hoppers, you do it on a light to moderate crowd days. When it gets busier than moderate crowds days, the extra magic hour park will be, especially the morning extra magic hours. This doesn't really apply to the evening extra magic hours. Uh, the morning extra magic hour park will be the busier park, typically. Magic Kingdom sometimes throws a, skews that off a little bit. Uh, magic Kingdom's always busy, but the other parks, <clears throat> you might want to avoid those parks on extra morning extra magic hours days. Um, the number four, evening extra magic hours, anytime you can. Um, evening extra magic hours are great. Most people um, will leave the parks after the fireworks, after the parades, um, and evening extra magic hours are only available at the Magic Kingdom and Epcot. So after those fireworks, after those parades, there's nobody there. Evening extra hours are magic hours. If you can stay up that late, sometimes it's two, three, four o'clock in the morning. Uh, those are really cool. So. Dad's bottom line, <clears throat> extra magic hours are cool. Um, use them when you can. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.